Hello guys, uh, welcome to the today's session. In the previous session, uh, we have discussed about the construction sequences. In today's sessions, I'll be discussing about the marking activity. Okay, uh, so Kites, as you know that Kites Construction Academy is into providing practical education or practical training to the students of civil engineering and also for the working professionals. So for further updates on any uh, uh, discussions on the civil engineering uh, industry and construction, activities and construction knowledge uh, please uh, uh, log into our uh, website and also you can subscribe our youtube channel and also click uh, on bell icon to get the notification whenever the new video is uploaded so now i'll start marking activity your uh, advantages of uh, marking is it helps in maintaining the dimensional accuracy and also it helps in nullifying or uh, minimizing the errors that can be occur while executing the project okay so what we need to do is uh, before understanding how exactly the marking is done we need to understand the important points that has to be uh, considered while executing the project or while executing your marking activity okay so that is uh, like first one is permanent benchmark so what is permanent benchmark so the permanent benchmark is nothing but a reference point established by geographical survey of india which represent the actual elevation of the specific point with respect to mean sea level means this permanent benchmark will help you to locate either the uh, elevation of your site area and also with respect to this you can establish the temporary benchmark so temporary benchmark acts as a reference point with respect to this benchmark you can find out the amount of excavation that is required means till you get the hard strata you will be doing the excavation and also the depth of the excavations will be mentioned in your drawing with respect to the benchmark so that benchmark will help you to understand whether you have reached the required level of um, means the required uh, depth of the excavation that is given in the drawing or even more than that and also it helps you in marking the heights of your columns heights of your plinth beam heights of your windows height of your slabs beams etc okay so that's why you will be establishing the temporary benchmark so what do you mean by reduced level so reduced level is nothing but a place uh, which with a uh, numerical representation of altitude of the place with respect to the benchmark means height or depth of the your excursion whatever it is whatever the element so that is called as reduced level okay so the next comes is the baseline so what do you mean by the baseline so it is the reference line established along one direction so you will be establishing a line along one direction in the side using which rest of the grid lines means in the your drawings will be divided into different grid lines so that the all the dimensional things can be easily transferred onto the ground so that's why you will be establishing the baseline okay and uh, it is uh, it is also uh, established by respect to us or by using your uh, marking pillars okay then comes setbacks so what do you mean by setback so setbacks is like it is an area left between your boundary and your built up area okay so the uh, major importance of uh, your setback is see here if you see here here we have left the setback okay so these setbacks help in like um, uh, provision of your chambers provision of electrical lines and also when you are doing the projections of your uh, chajas okay or sunshades so that has to be come in your boundary it should not cross your boundary so to make the accommodation of these elements we will be giving the setback around your site area okay so that is a setback so next is so what is next so next is gfc so gfc is nothing but good for construction okay so gfc drawing good for construction so the good for construction is like whenever you are taking any drawing for the references and also for executing any activity then you need to see that 
whether the drawing has been provided with the good for construction seal or not means uh, if the good for construction seal is there on your drawing then there will not be any changes by the architects or structural consultants in the drawing okay if the gfc drawing is there then there may be a chances of changes in the drawing or changes in the structural details given in the drawing so that's that therefore you should be very careful while executing the project means you should check for the gfc drawings then only you have to continue the activity so then comes pcc so pcc is nothing but plain cement concrete so plain cement concrete is nothing but it is the bottommost concrete which will be provided for the footings so means it's it's access and formation level so that when you provide the pcc so the pcc will help in giving you the equal formation level and also it reduces the undulations in your footing and footing can be e evenly distribute its load okay so that's why the pcc then comes grid line so grid lines are like these are the imaginary lines that are shown in the drawing which generally pass through the center of the columns so using these grid lines only you will be transforming the locations of your footings and columns onto the ground so i'll show you the drawing in the coming slides okay for the grid lines okay next comes is marking uh, sorry string line so string line is an just a nylon thread or a string which will be used to mark this your uh, base lines and grid lines onto the ground okay so next is marking pillars so marking pillars are see these marking pillars are nothing but it's a temporary structure which will be erected around your site area or around your built up area so that these base lines and grid lines will be marked over these marking pillars okay so because whenever you are uh, whenever you are marking any elements every day we need not to establish these base lines and grid lines yeah, when you have the pillar or uh, when you have the marking pillars whenever the requirement is that you can use that for example i'll show you here see here these are the marking pillars okay so when you are establishing the grid line this one one and this is aa okay so you can use only these two marking pillars so you need not to use means you need not to establish every grid lines or every base lines okay so that is the main importance of providing the pillars means marking pillars okay so the next chapter of it is setting out the drawing so setting out of drawing is nothing but the process of transforming drawings onto the ground is called as setting out of drawing okay next is building bylaws so building bylaws is nothing but uh, the laws the laws for design and construction of buildings which are prescribed by the local governing bodies are uh, relevant governing governing authorities of each city okay so every city or every corporation will be having its own building bylaws means it gives you the guidelines of uh, construction of the building means when you are planning the building active build, when you are planning the building so then it will give you the guidelines about height of the building so what are the setbacks has to be left and what should be the minimum requirement of an toilet or bathroom or washroom what is the minimum requirement of a kitchen for a particular site area and the height restrictions the provision of fire hydrants those points will be given in the building bylaws we were planning any building so you have to check the building bylaws and based on that only you will be designing your building okay or planning your building so that is uh, the importance of building bylaws okay so as i told you so this is uh, the marking pillars and uh, these are the, the the one directional point is called as baseline and perpendicular dot when you are establishing those are called as grid lines okay so this is uh, uh, these are the important terminologies you need to understand before starting any marking activity so in coming classes i'll be discussing you about the marking activity so now we have discussed the important terminologies uh, should be known before starting any uh, marking activity okay so in the next class i'll be discussing about the marking activity means what are the process involved in doing the marking okay so if you like this uh, video 
please uh, share with your uh, friends and uh, classmates okay and also please subscribe our youtube channel for uh, further updates and also uh, click the bell icon for uh, uh, click the bell click the bell icon to get the notification whenever a new video is uploaded on our youtube channel okay so thank you one and all